there were three features every competitor of StreamYard had that they drug their feet on. Hotkeys and Stream Deck integration was the first on that list that StreamYard finally added. Dark mode is another, and unfortunately, we continue to wait on that, which is crazy to me. What's the deal? Seriously. Because that seems to be the easiest. The third, however, is vertical or 9x16 native streaming, and I'm happy to share it's finally here. Nestled inside studio settings on the general tab is a new section called orientation with two options, landscape for wide 16x9 streams and portrait for tall 9x16 streams. Selecting portrait adjusts the program window and crops your video and makes streaming to TikTok and Instagram make way more sense. I'll share best practices and what features are currently not available in portrait mode in the video. So here we are inside StreamYard and uh, you, 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 you're familiar with this particular setup and its scene and everything, uh, going into the studio, all those other things, very basic. Essentially, if you have been using StreamYard before, you know how to get to the studio and this screen. If you haven't, however, definitely check out some of our other videos on the channel if you're just getting started with StreamYard. In here, as mentioned in the lead in, we wanna go to settings, all right? Let me do that a little slower. <laughs> we wanna go down here to the middle bottom and go to settings, right? Where it says settings, we wanna click on that. And then we wanna go to our general tab. So you have this left side of the settings screen. You have all these tabs here, uh, guests, layouts, hotkeys, recording, virtual background, audio camera, and general. General is right at the top. So we want to click on that. And then right in the middle of the screen, we do have uh, orientation, landscape, and portrait. And it does say new. And if we hover our mouse over this, it sh says select the orientation mode to be landscape or portrait. Portrait works best for vertical destinations like Instagram. So fairly explanatory, explanatory there. Uh, and what we have to do is simply click portrait. And once we do that, you'll notice behind us here that the canvas, the program window actually has changed to uh, nine by 16. And we do have some different formats here. A couple of things to note. One, we want to make sure that we have assets, overlays, graphics, videos, backgrounds that are formatted for nine by 16. As you can tell in this uh, brand, I don't have that, but I have created another brand. So right here, if I go to default, that's my, the name of this particular brand is default. If I go to that and I go down to vertical, I've just named this brand vertical. Now you might want to name it something a little more descriptive, but when I go to that brand, I do have, uh, the stock background, which is the blue waves that, uh, that's been given to us by StreamYard. They have a bubbles dark one as well. You can all just barely see that there. You can see the, the bubbles there on the screen, but um, they are nice backgrounds, right? So you have those in the system as well. Additionally, I have some overlays that have already been designed for vertical. And if you're using Canva, all you're gonna really wanna do is go here to where it says create design, cl click that and select where it says Instagram story. Uh, but the more, more operative term here or detail is that it's 1080 by 1920, 1080 by 1920. And once you select that, That'll give you a canvas in Canva, canvas in Canva. I see what you did there. And you can design your flyers on or get your wide flyers and re, um, you know, uh, repurpose them so that they can work in a vertical stream. And then you could just go into StreamYard and upload them as you normally would. There are those two flyers that I've uploaded from that system. Uh, now I add my camera, you just add my camera. You can see that I am in the middle. Now, um, if you look at the camera itself, I click on settings, you can see that the camera has the full wide version, but in, in StreamYard, we have this cropped version. So one of the things I want to share right here is that you're going to want to stay right in the middle of your camera. And, and if, if you're streaming vertical with StreamYard, you kind of want to, you know, adjust yourself a little bit to ensure that you actually are in the middle of the screen. If you have a guest, um, I've got my other laptop added here. You can add that guest in and you can see what that looks like. I'm just going to wave there. You can say, hey, what's going on? Um, and you want to make sure of course, 
course, uh, once you have that guest, you can see that the camera has actually given me a little more space uh, than when I was by myself on screen. So you can kind of adjust where necessary or where possible. One hack uh, would be to add a blank camera to the screen so that you get that square at the top. And then you know if you're streaming on Instagram, this whole section at the bottom is gonna be covered. So you wanna keep that in mind. Think about the destination you're streaming to as you design. Uh, you have another layout here, um, and that, that gives you two vertical, uh, uh, you, yourself is a vertical and your guest is a vertical in the system. And so you can have you can have that set up like that as well. Keep that in mind. You want to play with these. I would recommend even taking a screenshot of these, uploading them into your design platform. If you use Canva or if you use Photop, if you use Photoshop so that you can design around it, you can create your own backgrounds. You can put other things in the background so that you take advantage of all the real estate, essentially all the things that we have been teaching you to do with streaming in StreamYard um, from a 16 by nine perspective, we just wanna flip that and apply it for this nine by 16 uh, method that we now have. One thing to note is we do not, you see when I hover my mouse here over the custom layouts feature, which is one of my favorite features, you can see that portrait mode uh, they say that portrait custom layouts are coming soon. So that is a promise from StreamYard where we wanna make sure that you know that it is not currently available, but they are promising that it's coming soon. Secondly, I do want to make note that if you are going to record, we go to here and we go to recording, you can see here also that portrait studios don't support local recordings yet but it's coming very soon, all right? So this line right here, Portrait Studio Zone is coming very soon. So those are two things that are not uh, recorded yet. They're not recorded yet. Uh, so you wanna make sure, keep that in mind. We hope that it will come soon. And when they do come, maybe that'll open up some other functions and features for us as we continue to utilize this platform. Um, as I mentioned, you do wanna, uh, one, of the, one of the things I'm suggesting is you do wanna create a brand that is just for your vertical assets. You have, you can see what I've done here, uploaded some, uh, some graphics here, but also you can see I have a little video here as well. Um, and then you would want to upload your vertical videos into the system. Here's a vertical uh, countdown clock that is comes standard with StreamYard, but you could essentially make your own uh, the same way. As long as you know the 1080 by 1920 uh, format to be able to set your canvas to, whether you're using Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, or DaVinci Resolve, you can do your videos that way, or you could just, you know, grab your phone and record in portrait mode and that'll work just fine. This video has not been edited. It's just a quick little clip that I took from my phone and was able to upload it directly into StreamYard and use it in my vertical or portrait mode live stream. So we touched on uh, there being some features that are not available, right? The, the custom layouts not being available yet. They say yet. And then we touched on the recording feature, uh, local recording not being available yet. Uh, but here are two things that I, I really want to ask StreamYard about, right? So can, can we have the toggle switch for portrait orientation uh, on the main page here, like going into settings and then going up to general and then selecting it, uh, to me is a couple of steps too many. So definitely would love to see StreamYard make that switch. Uh, several of their competitors have it out right here, like right on this screen right here where you can just kind of toggle between it, EVMux, Restream, they just have it right there available to you. Um, and another thing that I think could be really good is let's say I have this brand, you know, that's called vertical, would be really nice to have the brand tied to the orientation, right? So if I have, a, you know, maybe two brands for two different shows or two different clients, maybe I could tie that brand to orientation so that when I switch from one brand to the other, it switches orientation. That's similar to how Ecamm does it. So I'd love to see uh, StreamYard kind of add those pieces in there. Uh, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We're excited that they've finally given us vertical native streaming uh, from StreamYard. 
This new vertical option is great for streaming to TikTok, Instagram, and even YouTube, where the 9x16 vertical format is super popular. But for recording in StreamYard to get both vertical and wide at its highest quality, recording local and uploading afterwards, I still prefer my method. Oh, <laughs> you aren't familiar with my method? Uh, it, it's right here. It's, it, it's in this video right here. Click on this video and you can see my method to do that right now. I'll see you over there.